This video will over why we have two kidneys but only required one kidney to live. Organ donation is a gift and it must come from the heart, not by emotional browbeating. Kidney transplants are the most common organ transplant that happens. Kidney transplants paved the way for surgical groups to develop effective transplantation of other organs including the heart, lung, pancreas, and liver. Individuals who do not have good kidneys are really sick. Kidneys do many things that are necessary to stay healthy. Regular kidneys perform numerous important jobs that keep the body in good health. Clean your blood and get rid of waste products through the development of urine. Balance fluids in the body by managing water and salt concentrations. Preserve the balance of the body's chemicals, potassium, calcium, magnesium and phosphorus. Control blood pressure. Supply aspects utilized to make red blood cells, which carry oxygen in the blood. Help sustain strong bones. One kidney, functioning at 20% capability, can do all of the above. The kidneys produce urine that drains pipes through narrow tubes, called ureters, into the bladder. Every day the kidneys filter 160 quarts of fluid from the bloodstream, removing about one to half a quart of waste in the form of urine. There are two methods to replace the kidneys, dialysis and transplantation. Dialysis is when medical professionals use a device and medications to do the work that kidneys do. A better way to do the kidneys work is to offer the individual another kidney. To be a candidate for immunotherapy, the client should be in great general condition, have adequate function of vital organs, such as the heart, lungs, and kidneys, and have no brain metastasis. For those with kidney failure, kidney transplants are more suitable to treatment by dialysis. Kidney transplants are designed to deal with patients whose kidneys are stopping working, making them not able to process body waste items. Transplants that are done reasonably right after beginning dialysis are on average more successful than transplants carried out two or more years after a client starts dialysis. Clients who get live donor kidney transplants normally have much shorter waiting times than those who receive kidneys from deceased donors. Transplants of kidneys from more youthful donors tend to survive longer than transplants from older donors. Kidneys are assigned based on, to name a few factors to consider, the match in between the donor and recipient blood groups and hereditary type, called the tissue type or HLA type. Kidneys drawn from living donors frequently start to work instantly, while those from cadavers may use up to two weeks for tissues to change and become practical. Unlike the stockpile of patients in other medical areas, renal transplants happen when the donor's kidney becomes available. Typically, clients who are noted for a deceased donor transplant wait roughly three years, however, there is a lot of variability in this. For example, for a patient with an unusual tissue type, there will be fewer donors with a tissue type that matches that of the patient well, compared to patients with more common tissue types. Furthermore, some clients have antibodies directed versus certain tissue types, which implies that some, or even most, donors' kidneys are not suitable for these patients. After surgery, patients can anticipate being hospitalized for around 7 to 10 days. After being released clients are seen daily as an outpatient for roughly four weeks. After the everyday outpatient sees clients are instructed to do no heavy lifting or exercise for eight to ten weeks. Clients who do not smoke or give up cigarette smoking, preserve a good body weight, and work out routinely are more likely to have many years of good quality life with a well-functioning kidney. Thank you for watching.